Good morning. I have to clarify something on here. This rant, if that's what you want to call it, is sort of like um, describing a difference between being a fan of a team and rooting for a team. Now, many of those who know me know that I originally come out of the Philadelphia area, and in 2010 I moved to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. For 53 years of my life, I'm 56 now, I lived in the Philadelphia area, and the hockey team that I rooted for was the Philadelphia Flyers. And then 2010, I moved to North Carolina. The very first thing I did when I got down here was I got tickets to a game at PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, between the Philadelphia Flyers and the Carolina Hurricanes. And I found out two things from this. Number one, the Hurricanes are a lot more entertaining to their fans than the Flyers are. There's more things going on in the arena. There's more things to do in the arena. It's a better experience when you go to a game in Raleigh than it is in Philadelphia. Number two, the Carolina fans are real fans. Philadelphia, they want to trade for everybody coming down the pike. And they're like, hey, Flyers are going to win the Stanley Cup. No, the Flyers are going to struggle to make the playoffs. Look at the standings. Figures don't lie. I told you this was going to be a rant. So what I decided to do is make this video, and this is especially aimed at the Philadelphia Flyer hockey fan, to explain the difference between a fan and just rooting for a team. Now, let's say a Flyers game comes on television. I have DirecTV here. That means I can get all the games. Center ice package. Philadelphia Flyers play the New York Islanders. I'm rooting for Philly. Philadelphia Flyers play Montreal. I'm rooting for Philly. Philadelphia Flyers play the LA Kings. I'm rooting for Philly. They play Florida. I'm rooting for Philly. They play Tampa Bay. Philly. They play the Washington Capitals. Rooting for Philly. Playing one of the other New York teams. Rooting for Philly. Playing Detroit. Rooting for Philly. They're playing anybody else in the league. I'm rooting for Philly. I lived there 53 years. I still root for the team. And I see a lot of things I don't like with their fans. Foul language is one of them. Now, I enjoyed my very first Carolina Hurricanes game back in 2010. So I decided to buy season tickets. I own a Hurricanes jersey. I have Hurricanes bumper stickers in the back of my car. I have a Hurricanes pennant right there. I have a Hurricanes flag in my living room. I don't miss Carolina Hurricanes games. I tape them even when I'm not home. Let's say they're playing on the road. I'm at church. I tape it. So I'm able to watch it. I am a Carolina Hurricanes fan. There's the difference. When you're a fan, you are a fan of the team. You are fanatical. That's what fan means. It's short for fanatical. You are fanatical about the team. But, like I said, I have the center ice package with DirecTV. And I can watch hockey games everywhere. Philadelphia is playing all these different teams. 
I'm rooting, rooting, not a fan of, but rooting for Philadelphia. Ultimate goal here, I want to see Philadelphia and Carolina play each other in the playoffs. Remember, I have season tickets to the Hurricanes. I can be at those games. And now I'm going to be living in North Carolina for the rest of my life. So, I'm going to be going to a lot of Carolina Hurricanes games. And they treat me so well as a season ticket holder, I'll probably have season tickets for a long time. I'm a fan of the Carolina Hurricanes. So that's the difference. Okay, you are fanatical about one team. My case, Carolina. I'm not fanatical about Philadelphia. But I root for them to beat all these other teams. Because for 53 years, I went to a lot of Flyers games. And I still love the team. The issue comes with the fans. Thank you for allowing me to bore you, and have a great day. Bye.